Well, guys, you could argue that Brown has already picked up the biggest GOP endorsement in New Hampshire in the form of Senator Kelly Ayotte. But Mitt Romney certainly drew a crowd and a reaction from New Hampshire Democrats. It is so important for us to build on this awakening. Before a certainly warm Republican crowd, it was former Governor John Sununu who introduced Scott Brown's high profile support. The man who should have been the 44th president of the United States. Of course, Mitt Romney is not the president, but when it comes to the Senate race, he says it's largely about the man who is. You have a choice. Do you want more mandates, more Obamacare, higher cost of health care, and less choice in your doctors, or do you want to have an independent voice and Scott Brown is your next senator? And from that support, mutual admiration. New Hampshire knows Mitt Romney very, very well. And it's not just because he won the presidential primary here. We know him as an upright and capable man who we wish were president right now. In response to the pairing, Democrats said pretty much what you'd expect. A failed Massachusetts politician has a summer home here in New Hampshire, uh, bringing up another failed Massachusetts politician that has a summer home here in New Hampshire. It's unclear what kind of bump the Romney endorsement will give the Scott Brown campaign, but analysts say at the very least it accomplishes a couple of things. First, it prevents his opponents from getting any news coverage, and second, it gets him a lot of potential volunteers for his campaign, for those who actually come to the event. And the crowd was a large one. And in the end, they heard a familiar refrain that might be from the playbook of the president. I say let the change begin right here in New Hampshire. All right, well, it's unclear how involved Mitt Romney will be beyond this event in the Senate race. But at one point, someone yelled to him from the crowd, hey, Mitt, run for president again in 2016. To which he replied, quote, we'll find someone who can win. Food for thought, though, polls do show that Romney is in the lead for Republican candidates here in New Hampshire. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.